you can just drop me at home. Oh, my pleasure. You don't even have to tell me why I drove miles out of Port Charles to pick you up. I have influence. Not only at Mass General, but at General Hospital, too. You'd really do it. You'd really have me kicked out. No, I didn't say that. You didn't have to. And we understand each other, don't we? My friend and I just had a misunderstanding. We decided to call it a night. Your friend and you had a misunderstanding. It must have been one heck of a misunderstanding. Well, that's the truth. Or maybe that's just the, the G-rated version, you know? I, I drove all the way out to Pleasant Valley or whatever the name of that town was, and I, I fork out $300 to pay for a bottle of champagne. Did I not thank you enough? Well, no, it's not that, but the way I see it, your date had the fun. He drank the champagne, and I did all the driving out here to get you. Well, if it makes you feel any better, I threw the champagne in his face. Oh, yeah? Well, what prompted that? It's embarrassing, okay? Let's just go. You know, when I was talking to you before, you were crying. You were crying. Now, I didn't want to say anything in front of Serena, but, you know, you're, you're kind of a pain. <laughs> However, you, you helped me when I needed help, and I'm going to do the same thing for you. In fact, I insist. I just got the page. What have we got? We got a fire at Forest Hills. Mercy has most of the victims. We got the overflow, including Frank Scanlon. Emergency. Frank, can you hear me? I'm here. You're going to be fine. I'll be with you. Come on, let's take care of them now. Go. Let's move it. Turn them around. Go. We're going to uh, draw some blood, ABGs, do some x-rays when I'm looking at it. Smoke, inhalation. Uh, his boss said he would not leave the building until he knew everybody was out. That sounds like Frank. I need to call my priest. Look, look he's going to pull through, Mary. It would not hurt to have Father on my side. Put him good with him. I know. When your kids are in trouble, you got to pull in all your partners. Did you page respiratory to try the ABGs? Yes, but the check was tied up. There's no you. excuse. Page him again and get him down here now. Dr. Ramsey, take over. So I have it under control. You're off the case. This is my brother. That's why you're off the case. Come on. No, I, no, he taught me about smoke inhalation. I should be here. Come on, Joe. Let them do their work. Come on. Now. I'm fine. Will you stop asking me that? Okay, as long as you're absolutely positively sure you're fine, you're fine, right? Okay, fine. You're here. Are you sure you're here? I'm not going anywhere, Lucy. I'm not letting you either. Right, fine, don't tell me. Listen, child psychology is not going to work on me. I uh, know, it doesn't work on Serena either. <laughs> well, let me examine the evidence here. Now, you've been in town about a month or so. You haven't had a lot of time, so I would say that you were out with your ex-boyfriend. <laughs> I just moved here. How could I possibly have an ex? I'm right, aren't I? <sighs> have you ever seen your ex and had an ugly reminder of why they're your ex in the first place? get me started on that, but this is about you, and I already saw what happened tonight. Hey, don't you dare say I asked for it. No, I'm not saying that at all. I mean, uh, you know, you can be aggravating. Uh, don't give me that who me look here what? now. And I know it wasn't your fault. What makes you say that? Well, I think that maybe you, 
you thought maybe this guy had changed and you gave him the benefit of the doubt and uh see i'm, I'm good at this right yeah but i knew deep down inside that leopard was not changing its spots i guess i got what i deserved huh well then how do you figure that karma payback for some questionable choices i've made in the past oh come on don't hand me that this guy was a deadbeat, you know, he takes you out, he sticks you with a check, no ride home. I don't think you're as big a loser as you think you are. Don't do that. Don't do what? Be nice. I'm not. I can handle it when you yell at me and when you're mean to me, but just don't, okay? Why? Uh, are you going to start crying again? Huh? Any word on Frank Scanlon? Not yet. Wait here, I want to talk to Julie. Wait a minute, are you sure you're all right? I'm fine. Julie. You know, I was at the hospital with Frank. He helped save my father's life. How bad was the fire? Well, the worst thing about it was how suddenly it started. One minute I was sitting with my father and then boom. I thought we were done for. If Frank hadn't helped me get my father out a window, I don't think we would have made it. But Frank got too much smoke? Not then. We went back inside to see if anyone needed help. I could tell that the smoke was affecting him. He'd been in it longer than I had, but he wouldn't give up. You know, it's not the first time I've seen him risk his life to help someone else. A minute after I met him, he helped me save my fiance. When Cooper took us hostage? People like Frank Scanlon don't come along every day. I know. Joe would tell you if, if there's anything to worry about. Oh, no, he wouldn't. He'll say, Ma, everything will be fine. Well, I guess that's part of being a son. Keeping your folks in the dark. You know, his father used to laugh at me. I'd worry that... Frank was too responsible. Have a little fun, I'd tell him. Do something wrong. I never said that to Sonny. I can't tell you how much it means to have you here now. Especially after the day you've had. And I can't tell you what it means to be here. Especially after the day I've had. They've admitted your father for observation. Oh, how is Victor? Shaken up, some minor burns, but otherwise he seems fine. He kept asking about you. He did. Now, why don't you wait here? I'm going to go upstairs and see him. Listen, Kevin, why don't you wait here while I get you a room? I'm fine, Ellen. Oh, still. But, hey, ow! Headache? Nausea? It's just a bump. You say bump, I say concussion. And we can do this here or after you're admitted. Your choice. <sighs> Let's do it now. No, no, I am not hurt. To make you feel better, I will wait till Frank is better. And then I'm leaving. Keep him here. Right. Okay, Doc, let's just kill some time, shall we? You can tell me about your close call, okay? I'm fine, Lucy. I really should go see Victor. No, you shouldn't. What you should do is let them check that bump. Now, we're going to stay here, so can I get you anything? Like water, juice, anything? Everything I need in the world is right here. Okay. Well, you know, I uh, chased out to Forest Hills when I heard about the fire. You did? Yes, of course I did. You took off, left that wedding. I didn't know where you went. And so I went home and changed, and I heard on the news. And so I've been chasing you half the night. I want you to sit down and please just tell me exactly what happened, okay? <clears throat> well, there was a blast. Some kind of an explosion. I must have been knocked out cold because the next thing I remember, I opened my eyes and the entire room was in a shambles and a bookcase was laying on top of me. Oh, my God, Doc. I thought I was going to die. And I thought I had answered the big question for myself that biology is destiny. That I'm going to die in a fire like Ryan and my mother and there's nothing I can do on this planet to stop it. And then I thought of you. And you were there. With me. Yeah, I was. 
Just when I thought there wasn't any way to escape, when I thought it was all over, there you were. And I said, no. I do not accept this. I will have a future with Lucy. I left everything in my past behind in those flames. Lucy, I don't have room in my life for that. Not anymore. So are you telling me we don't have to go through this ever again? No more fires and no more scaring me to death? I survived it for a reason. And I knew there was something I needed to ask you if I was able to get out. Okay, anything. Will you marry me, Lucy? Are you okay? Is it something I said? Because, you know, I, I do do that sometimes. You know how I'm always telling you that you're bad luck for me? Yes, you said that before. Well, I was wrong. When I took off with Serena's ransom money, you wouldn't press charges. And when I got mugged, you came to my rescue. And you even got me to the hospital for my first day of surgical rotation. And now, we can add to the list that you were there for me at maybe one of the worst times in my life. Okay. Well, then I won't ask for the details. I don't want to ruin my reputation here. Just don't ever tell me the guy's name. Joe, why don't you just sit I'm up? fine. It's hard enough to have someone you love in the ER. But you've had a full day of work, too. Please, just call. Look, Karen, I can handle this, all right? Oh, yeah, really, no kidding. Your mother's in there scared to death. Your brother is in the ER. Boardman, everybody's on your butt. And you're okay. What's your secret? It's funny. Ever since Frank and I were kids, we, uh... And this weird connection, you know? Whenever one of us was in trouble, the other one would always be right there. It's not like we didn't have our share of fights, you know? You guys fighting? I don't believe it. <laughs> Frank made everything right in my life for me, Karen. I mean, he always made sure everything was perfect. And there's not a damn thing I can do. He busted his tail to put me through med school. Frank's gonna be okay, Joe. I don't, uh... I don't know what I would do without him, Kevin. I really don't. You know, if I was in there right now, you know Frank would do whatever it took. I really think we need to get somebody to look at that bump back there. Why? Well, uh, because you already asked me to marry you. Don't you remember, see? It is beautiful, isn't it? But the old Kevin gave that to you. The old Kevin? Yes, I'm the new Kevin. I walked through fire just to be with you. I'd walk through hell just to hang on to you. I realized tonight that I can, I can handle anything as long as we're together. Does that sound crazy? Somehow, not a bit. I thought about everything that I wanted to do. The two of us together, all the places that we could go, all the adventures that we could have. Huh? And what do you say? Lucy, will you make me the happiest man on earth and marry me? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. 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 I love you. I guess you're not such a bad guy after all. Well, thanks, I think. <laughs> uh, so why did you call me to pick you up? You're the only person that I could think of. That would come and get you <laughs> for gas money. <laughs> I don't even know why you do it at all, you know? I mean, especially since you've only been exposed to my more colorful side. But something told me that you'd come. That you would be there for me. Um... Tell Serena thanks for the gift.
Oh, um... What's that? I don't know. That's odd. I'm not on till tomorrow. Must be an emergency. Gotta go. Okay. I'll drop you. <laughs> Do you think we can get there without incident this time? Are you kidding? This thing's as reliable as rain. All right, then let's go. All right, hold on to your hat. Uh, aren't you gonna scream? Yeah, hey. Sometimes you just gotta have a little faith. <laughs> Any word on Frank yet? Oh, they're waiting for the lab results on his blood gases. It shouldn't be too much longer. I hope not. She's worried, too. I wonder where Father Wysocki is. The church office had no idea where he is. Look, you don't need a priest. I'll stay with you. Oh, you probably should get home. You must be so worried about Sonny. Mary, I'm fine. Are you sure? Let's get Frank through this first. I've got plenty of time to worry about Sonny. Dr. Morris. Daddy. My meeting wrapped up early, and I thought if you were off duty, I could spare you away for a little bit. I can't. Why not? Frank was just admitted. Why? What happened? His unit was called to a fire. He was helping rescue people. He was unconscious when they brought him in. I'm just so worried about Frank. Julie. Yeah. Fresh words out of his mouth. Where's Julie? Why don't you go see him? Yeah. Um. Hey, Ramsey. Uh, we have some stuff we need to discuss. Whatever you say. I'll be in touch. Dr. Ramsey. You are the surgical intern on duty in the ER tonight? Yeah, why? Why don't you start acting like it? You had me scared there for a while. But you're gonna be fine. Don't talk. Smoke inhalation. They're waiting for the lab results on your blood gas. Sorry. Frank, I don't ever want to argue with you again. It's stupid and a waste of time, and I don't want to waste any time with you. You mean too much to me. Once you're out of here, I'm not letting anything come between us, you hear me. Uh, not a chance. Who's that? His name is Bennett Devlin. Oh, the big shot surgeon I read about. Yeah, he's here, lucky us. Well, doesn't he instill a little fear in all you young interns? Some interns. Glad you could join us. Room three, now. Thanks, Scott. Wait, wait, wait. What's going on? Hi, uh, big fire at Forest Hills. Well, uh, Kevin's father's in there. Yeah, actually, uh, Kevin's father was admitted tonight. Kevin and Lucy are around here somewhere. Karen, Burgess needs an extra set of hands. Okay. Have you seen Lucy? No, I haven't. I'm sorry. Listen, uh, I'll give you a call. Okay. Okay. I don't know if you're right about my father. All I know is I don't want to fight with you. All I want to do is kiss you. When you get home, I'll even let you beat me at basketball. Deal? What is it, Frank? Frank, what is it? Oh, my God. He's an SVT. Hey, I wonder why nobody's come to look at you yet. Because they have sick people to look after, let's see. Doc. All I need is rest. 
Tell you what, I'll go up and check on Victor. I'll see if there's any word about Frank. And then we'll go home. Okay, that's a deal. You know, I can hardly wait to get reacquainted with my new and improved fiancé for the first replay, rewind sort of time again. I like the way you think. Mm, well, Serena's at Lee and Gail's for the night, and Scott's not home. So... Don't do this to me. Somebody, please help. Somebody, please. Don't do this to me. Don't do it. This is Lisa McCree. And Charles Gibson. You want to give to charity? Tomorrow we'll show you how to make sure your money does the most good. Plus, we're backstage for the Country Music Awards on tomorrow's Good Morning America.